Kevin Painter, many congratulations. An absolute demolition job of Phil Taylor here at the World Seniors. Must be over the moon with that. Yeah, look, you say demolition job. Look, it was 3-0, but it wasn't a classic game. You know, I think everyone expected it to be nuts. You know, everyone, you know, one forties and one. It wasn't a classic game, but uh, listen, I ain't beat Phil many times, and uh, it's nice to just win the game, yeah. I'll say, regardless of where it is or when it is, those victories are always sweet, aren't they? Well, of course. Look, listen, we're back here at the iconic Circus Tavern. Me and Phil have had many battles here over the years, and obviously uh, it's just nice to win the game. I, listen, we know we, neither of us are as good as we used to be. Of course we're not, but it's nice to win the game. Even still, was there nerves this morning? Because obviously you two served up an absolute classic all those years ago here. Arriving today, was, was there some nerves? No, it's not nerves. It, you, your adrenaline starts pumping, of course you do, but it's only when you walk on the stage. I mean, you're out the back there practising and everything like that. It's, you're all laid back, we're all chatting and things like that. When you walk on the stage, you, you, you know, that's when the adrenaline you know, starts pumping and you're ready for the game. In the game, it was a case of you did the right things when it really mattered in the big moments in the game. Yeah, there was a couple of moments there. The 80 finish on the ball, that was a terrible five by here. I banged the 25 and in it, the ball right dead centre. It was like, I'll tell you what, if, it, if it's not going to be your night tonight, you know, it, it was a great shot. It, it, a couple of other shots when Phil was on a double wad, missed the double, and poked out. But uh, yeah, as I say, very happy to uh, to get over the line. You know, you're an Essex lad, but what was it like to have your name rattling around that venue from start to finish? Yes, yeah, fantastic. Listen, every time we played here in the past with the PDC and um, a lot of support down here, all my mates live around here. I'm an Essex boy, I was born down the road. Um, it's fantastic support, you know, and I love it. It's great. Um, when the, the guys, uh, Jason Tain, Jason Francis, when they announced that this is the venue, listen, I couldn't be more pleased about that, you know what I mean? Look at the semi final, you versus Robert Thornton, arguably the two best players we've seen in the tournament so far, so it should be a classic. Yeah, well, it'll be a good game. It's uh, over seven sets tomorrow, so, you know, it's. Can relax slightly a bit more, but uh, it'll be cutthroat again. And uh, yeah, well, obviously Robert will fancy his chances, and uh, I'll fancy mine. Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you, Phil. thank you. Kevin, even though that wasn't Phil at his best, uh, to beat him by that scoreline, how much satisfaction does that give us? Well, yeah, I mean, listen, I'd like to have beaten Phil three 0 when he was at his peak, but uh, listen, you still play who you're playing, and that. And obviously, I was playing okay, wasn't I? I was hitting one forties and a few good scores and a few f good finishes at the right time, and. Uh, Obviously, Phil will be disappointed. Phil would say he could play better, but uh, listen, as I say, I, I've just got to play my game and try and win the game, you know. How important was it to close it out in that third set because Phil was starting to mount a fight back? Yes, yeah, you know, listen, um, when I was playing in the first round earlier, um, I let a two set lead go. And then Phil started to come back and started hitting a few treble twenties, and I thought, don't really want to lose this set because it was my throw. Um, so I, I needed to get that set out the way because then things start getting tricky, you know, and we don't want that. Even though Phil was pretty below power in his first game, you were expecting more from him tonight? Um, I don't know. Listen, I don't know. Didn't know what to expect from Phil. Um, I feel packed up four or five years ago now. I, I know he's been doing some exhibition stuff and that, but you're not going to play your best starts when you don't. I packed up. Last time I played on stage um, was four years ago at the World Championships at Ali Pali. You're not going to go up there and start playing as though you're on the Pro Tour and everything. You know, we're not going to do that. You know, it's not what you get. But we can all still play decent darts. Uh, I didn't expect Phil to go up there and have a hundred average. Of course, I didn't. But you know, I'd, listen, I'm grateful for just winning and playing good enough to win the game. Two wins away now from becoming the first World Seniors champion. What would it mean if you were to lift that trophy? Tomorrow? It would be fantastic. Listen, I've said earlier, you know, Jason um, Tame and uh, Jason Francis, Modus and uh, World Seniors, they've done a fantastic job to get this tournament on. And, and everybody, all the sponsors and everything, it's great. The crowds, look at the crowds down there. It's absolutely nuts. It's fantastic. Everyone wants to see this sort of thing. And um, it would be fantastic to win it. Of course it would, you know. There's four of us left, or there will be after tonight. And uh, we've all got a good chance of picking up the, the trophy, you know. Thank you very much.
kept on playing on that stage? Is it as much of a, a mental challenge playing Philip there as it is physically playing the darts? Yeah, I think tonight it, it was another thing like, um, yeah, obviously I'd, people were saying, oh, you'll beat Phil. You know, Phil was a favourite to win the tournament. Oh, you'll beat Phil if you carry on playing like you did. Listen, I was never going to win 9-0. I, I, you know, I, I, I played Wayne Warren last night. Wayne's a class player. Didn't happen for him. So everything went my way last night. It was never going to go all your own way. You don't do things like that against class players. Wayne had an off night last night. I played Phil tonight. I thought if I play anything like I did last night, I've got a good chance of winning. But you've, you've still got to go out there and do it, you know? 100%. And obviously the format goes up to best of seven tomorrow in yep. both the semis and the final. Probably mm. the longest format of darts you've played for a while. <coughs> oh, yeah, definitely. You know, um, as I say, um, last time I played any set, format other than tonight would have been you know the world championship my last game at Ali Valley so you know, listen all I've been doing over the last three or four years is playing exhibition so I'm you know, listen Robert's been on the tour until last year so he, he's more used to this Robert would be favourite to beat me but we'll have to see he's got to beat me we'll, we'll see what he does.